everybody um, coming on to um, give an update on my make my flowers challenge and um, do a few project shares some new some old and um, yeah on the make my flowers challenge I'm going to extend the deadline for that until uh, this upcoming Sunday July 4 5 6, July 7th uh, so your video response needs to be up by um, midnight American East Coast time on Sunday, July 7th. And I'm extending it quite frankly because the last six weeks at work have kicked my butt and I need a little more time to pull the prize pra package together. So, um, yeah, if I have time to do it, then whoever wins gets a little more. <laughs> so, um, hope that helps you all out too. And, yeah, I know a lot of people have a four-day weekend. Um, so maybe you'll get a chance to um, to make the flowers. If you do not do videos, uh, please PM me and I will give you an email address to send photographs of the flowers that you made to. And this is open to um, anybody international also. Um, so then just um, a few little shares. Um, some people, actually a lot of people ask me where spare marbles came from. And um, it was actually... Just um, several years ago I was trying to I was making centerpieces for the holiday season for work and I was trying to come up with um, a holiday gift for my um, co-workers in the office and I was actually working with marbles and they were rolling all over the place and I was like oh my god I've lost my marbles and we all lose our marbles every now and then so I um, <laughs> decided to make for my co-workers little marbles out of clay and put them in a box and I made bases out of clay also so that you never completely lose your last marble and I put a little tag on them that says when you've lost your marbles as we all sometimes do here's a spare to help you get through and they went over really really well with friends and co-workers um, so I, I actually did uh, do a registered trademark on the name Sp Spare Marbles, and that's where all my little side businesses, um, you know, have, have gone through since then. So, <laughs> Spare Marbles, <laughs> that's that. And then uh, I've been cleaning my room the last couple days and came across a couple things that might be of interest to you. Um, when I first got my Dremel tool a few years ago, this was when my husband thought I was nuts for asking for a guest certificate to Home Depot for Christmas that year. Um, but I had some of the um, the 5x7 pieces of glass that you get from Michael's. And I decided I wanted to try etching it. Um, yeah, etching the design with the Dremel right into the glass. So, printed out the design. Taped it behind the glass and then very slowly went around and etched it. So this would act, this is actually really cool on either a dark piece of paper, which I didn't grab one, or to stick a photograph behind it. And hopefully there won't be too much glare and you'll be able to see it. But that was one that I did. That's one of my photographs that and says this one. This one I actually just did like an Art Deco frame. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Barely. Maybe if I put it... The picture will be backwards, but it might show a lot better. So it, it was time consuming, but I really liked the result of it, especially if you're going to stick a picture behind it. I don't know if you can see that corner without getting the glare. Let's see if that one shows up a little bit better. So that was a couple of old glass projects that I had done. And a while back, and I think I'm going to take another stab at this. I was um, altering some dominoes. 
this one, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. But I did the dye ink and actually um, printed uh, graphics onto transparency film and stuck it down. And this one I actually put a little charm underneath of the, um, I used the Lisa Pavelka Magic Gloss. Yeah, I think I'm going to try something else other than the transparency film because you can see it. That one says giggle. Just some sun sunflowers. Not the dye inks, the alcohol inks, sorry. This would be Tigger if we had a dog. Says the dog did it. I don't know if it's focusing or not. It's a little steampunk graphic. And then I put an, put an image inside the binoculars. <clears throat> and that's one of my pieces. I love this little fairy image riding the butterfly. So I did one that says believe and another one that's hard to read but it says they do exist. This one is uh, butterflies and dragonflies with a dragonfly charm in embedded in it. And a mermaid, I'm not sure what got underneath it or whatever, but I did <coughs> I did put a little piece of bling in her hair and that's actually sitting on top of the magic gloss so that it still shines and this one is one of my favorites it's a um, clock graphic and I embedded a couple of gears um, underneath the gloss and then one on top of it so those are some dominoes. I think I'm going to try to play with those again because the, those were a learning experience. But it was a lot of fun. And then my most recent project, um, you'll probably saw when I did my haul on the, um, the milk glass pieces. So what I did, let's see if I can bring this in where you can see the whole thing. There we go. Is I made, I used um, milk glass vases and E6000 and set the bowl, set them in the bowls to make three tier um, as part of my candy station. Well, that it is my candy station plus one other piece. Um, so it gives me easy access you know, when, when I need a, a piece of bling or something to work on something. And it's pretty heavy. <laughs> Fairly well loaded. So those are just some um, some little bits. Um, yeah, I think I might uh, do some more of the glass too because that that I really like how those come out. Um, so I'm actually going to be back very shortly. Um, I have some happy mail. Uh, one is from uh, Maggie, who's Margaret White. Hi, hi, sis. And um, she actually sent it to me a few weeks ago, but I've been so freaking busy. Um, I haven't had time to, to do a video on it, but I haven't played with it at all. I've kept it in the envelope <laughs> so that everything would stay together. And I also got something from Tibbs, who is Spellbound987. Hi, Tibbs. Your package made it. <laughs> I haven't opened that yet, so I have no idea what's in there. Um, so I will see you all back in a few. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.